So if you haven't heard the news already, GTA 5 will be re-released onto the PlayStation 5. And I'm just going to tell you my opinions and my beliefs on this to you viewers. So, um, this is idiotic at best, which is actually worse. Um, this decision is stupid. I believe that um, re-releasing this game onto the PlayStation 5 wasn't the smartest idea. I think they could have uh, spent their um, money um, wisely and actually made an actual game. It could have been a small titled game. It didn't have to be necessarily be GTA 6. I mean, we would have been happy if it was GTA 6 as one of the first trailers and one of the first announced games for this new console. But, you know, it, it's fine if it wasn't. We just really want to see another Rockstar game. Like, But... We didn't really get a new Rockstar game. We are getting a new re-released game. Now, this is they're trying to disguise it, being like, oh, this is a new version of the game. Like, they're making this seem a lot better than it actually is making it. Then, of course, they are, because that's what they're supposed to do. That's how they make their money, and that's the best way to conserve their money, to market that this is a brand new experience on a brand new console and brand new hyper graphics. Not hyper graphics, but you know what I mean. Because PlayStation 5 will, uh, hardware has better graphics. Um, 8K graphics to be exact, it can go up to. Which I don't understand how a PlayStation 3, originally a PlayStation 3 game, is going to be 8K. I think this is a stupid idea to conserve. Like, if you've seen the backwards compatible Xbox games, they try to, even on the Xbox One X, you, they try to make it them look 4K, like um, the Elder Scrolls um, uh, 3, which they try to make it 4K, but it didn't look 4K at all, and of course it looked better on PC. Why would you conserve all your money onto buying that? So first of all, it's not going to look great. It's look going to just look uh, the a little better than the actual... Uh, Xbox One and PS4 versions uh, just a little better only because of the brightness and a little bit um, and some of the far reaches you can hardly see on the PS4 and Xbox One are going to look less blurry and you can see more far further so yeah that's so they're not going to add many details maybe they're, they're going to add maybe a few details I don't think they will it's just going to be another stupid re-release I understood the re-release for Xbox One and PS5, uh, um, really, but, um, yeah. But that came, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One came out on this, uh, the same time that the GTA, GTA 5 was released, uh, for the uh, PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 so it obviously makes sense and they want they genu genuinely could have a better experience the graphics did look a lot better than those two consoles but I'm afraid at this point that the graphics won't look dramatically better on to this console uh, mainly due to the fact that um, that I think it's pretty much gone to its full limit graphically to, can't go any further don't think it can go 8k because um it's it was it was developed um in 4 for 720p 1080p uh strictly not for um uh <laughs> not for uh 8k that 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 would be further than its limits and um, it makes sense why they're making 8K games now. They have a bigger production, and uh, that stuff as hasn't been around for uh, as long as 2013. 4K has hardly been around ever since 2013. I think just started then. So, like, truthfully, it, uh, this won't work in my opinion. And we've nobody will buy it. it people will just play their. Um, everybody who's going to have a PlayStation 5, who's going to buy a PlayStation 5, most likely probably has a PlayStation 4. So, truthfully, nobody's just going to buy this game for like 
ninety dollars and uh, like like expect and not get anything new out of it. It's just a big waste of marketing, in my opinion, and it shouldn't have happened in the first place. People are just going to play it on the PlayStation 4 because most people will probably buy a PlayStation 5 has a PlayStation 4, what I just mentioned earlier. So truthfully that so truthfully that um, people will have the same experience uh, with um, this as PlayStation 4. And I've seen the dislikes on the... Um, I've seen the dislikes on the reveal trailer, and it's not good. I'm going to show you guys. The like to dislike ratio doesn't look that good. So I believe I was correct here, people, when I said that people will not buy the this new version of the um, GTA 5. Um, and I think uh, Rockstar Games thinks their fans are... Are more gullible and stupid th uh, than um, they actually are. They think that they'll just buy anything they um, make, even if it's a re-release of a game that was made over a, a decade ago. So, um, yeah, uh, Rockstar uh, fans are much smarter than that, and I think Rockstar is making a huge uh, mistake by re-releasing this. Or maybe PlayStation 5 forced them to re-release this onto the console. So, um, yeah, I think this is basically it. I have a lot more to say, though. But I think I might make a part two of this video. Because uh, I have a lot to say. But that's it for this video. Uh, bye bye